Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. Here we're going to get started with 3D Issue. So you've just purchased 3D Issue, you're just ready to install it on your PC or Mac and this is how to get started. So once you download the file it should look like something like this on your desktop or wherever you saved it to. So we're simply going to run this program and the contents are just now being set up so we'll just wait for that to happen. You'll then see the wizard, so we'll just take you through this, so we'll just select next. Just read through the uh, license agreement and next. Then just say where you want the software to be installed, so I'll just put it in my program files. And I'll leave the name. Then goes about installing 3D Issue Professional 5, so that again may take a moment or two. And that's finished, so we now have our software on our machine. So I've just got a, a shortcut to the program on the desktop here. So to run for the first time, I'm just going to take you through this. So we'll open up 3D Issue for the first time. And then it opens this setup wizard, which we see for the first time when installing 3D Issue. So it only takes a minute or so to set up, but we're just going to take you through each stage so you know which areas uh, to put what information in. So we'll just select next to start our login and then you're asked to log into your 3D issue. Now you get this information from the email that you were sent with this link. So we can just open up that email and we can grab our username and password here. So I'll just uh, copy that information and go back to my installation. So here you can just type in that information and then enter your password. Again you can copy and paste it from the email if you like. And select login. And once it's confirmed you can click next. You then need to give your template a name. Now a template is the name of the license holder. So if you're just doing this for your own company, you'll only ever have one template. It's only if you're doing this for multiple clients of yours, say if you're a graphic designer or a service provider, that you'll be doing this for other people. So if it's your own company, then just put your own company name in there. And then if you just put in your own copyright information or just simply change this here, to your company name and click next. You then have the option to add in your logo or put text. Now where this is held, this is going to be put into the end user interface so your end readers will see this information so if you don't want it very large just put your text in or if you have your company logo then you can just attach this. So logo just select, click browse and upload your image. Now this will be placed in a specific place in the software. So it needs to be no greater than 180 pixels in width by 40 pixels in height. If it is bigger, the logo will resize proportionately to fit in this space. So once you're happy, you can click next. And here you just need to add in which domains you're going to be adding your 3D issues to. So if it's just going to be hosted on the root of your website, then just type in your website URL here. You can, of course, put multiple URLs in. So wherever you want to host your digital editions, just add in as many of the URLs that they'll be hosted at. You'll notice then there's a, a box here for your Google Analytics ID. So all you need to do is just go into your Google account, grab the ID number and paste it in here. What this will then do is whenever a magazine is published using this template, it will then coordinate with your Google account and it will send detailed tracking information about how users are interacting with your digital magazines. So you can add as many URLs as you like, so just always remember to do that. And if you then need to add them in later, you can always come back to this wizard, to, so don't worry too much about that. Click Next, and we then go into the SEO information. 
Now SEO is all about how search engines find your digital publication. So if this is marketing brochure or some material that you want people to find you online, then you might want to think a few moments about this section, just so you can really gain the correct benefits from this. So all you need to do is give a profile a name. You then have title, description and keywords. So if you're not sure, do check with your marketing department or your IT department and they will be able to give you the SEO that you use for your website or particular publications. Once you're finished, you can hit finish. This then uploads all the information that 3D issue needs and you're ready to start. So that's all the setup. So we're just going to click exit and then you're all set to use 3D issue for the first time. So for these demonstrations, you can view all the different videos on how to add your PDFs, how to add digital uh, functions and upload your magazine. So that's all about how to get started with your 3D issue software.